separate all the teams, like on the Herald Sun and Jock Reynolds. I think Jock Reynolds is a good resource. Um, I don't think it's as good this year, but it looks... Um, they revealed a few teams pretty later, uh, at a later stage. So we'll see what the teams look like, and I'm going to rate them, see if I like them, see if I don't. And yeah, it should be interesting. So this is my team at the moment. Still gone light in defense. Not sure Cole will come up. And Corey Ellis apparently dominated in the intra-club, so I just put him in. His job security is eh, but I can always do a correction trade if something goes wrong. So I think he's worth, worth the risk. So now we'll talk about the first team. Uh, so this is Leg Dog. He used to do videos. He was pretty good when he used to do them. I used to take a lot of advice from him. Looking at his defense, um, I don't like Hurley. He's, apparently his wrist isn't too good, like 100%. And he did get injured in the preseason. I think this is too much spending on two players in defense. If I, I would only pick one, and that would be Laird. Um, so yeah, if I have to have another defender, it would be Laird. But I don't like this defense much. I like Savage. Obviously, he didn't know Caulfield was going to play it when he posted this, but I think he has money on the bank, so he'll upgrade Caulfield. But yeah, I think this is okay. I don't like Hurley. Um, okay, that didn't work. Okay, and then midfield. Where is it? Okay, Oliver is injury risk. Wouldn't touch him. Love Parker, love Cripps. And it's a no for Dangerfield for me. He could be out for two weeks, so no to Dangerfield. Um, rookies, Barry Holman, really bad job security. Same with Brody. He can change that when teams come out, but I'm not a fan of Oliver. Love Cripps and Parker. And then the Rucks, Cruiser's overpriced. Don't pick him, and he's injury prone. You'll regret it 100%. 99% sure that you will. So, And Mangola's overpriced with a bad buy. Lambert is a bad buy, but I think Lambert should be a good pick. I'm avoiding him. I considered him for a while, but no. I think McLean's okay. Um, I don't know. He could play more forward. We don't know. Because Liver's like back into form, and they have so many midfield forwards. Smith should be fine, and this is really exposed. I think we have to play maximum. Have three rookies. We need to have a good F5. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't mind his team. I think it could be better. Replace Oliver and move Hurley to the forward line, like do some DPP stuff or whatever. Okay, so next team we have Patch. He has a podcast with Lake Dog. He's good, I think. Yeah, this is, I like this defense a lot. Um, he's going to need to upgrade these two. But I like the I like the idea of one premium in defense. I think he definitely can backfire, but we'll see what happens. Uh, midfield Six premiums, I like that a lot. I think five's not enough. I like six. They're going to be really hard. If Zara, uh, Zach Merritt, and guys like Matt Crouch, Rory Sloan, these, actually Sloan might be okay to get in, but Dustin Martin as well. These guys are going to be pretty hard to trade in. They're going to be 550k probably at worst. Um, so upgrading midfielder, midfielders is a nightmare this year. Again, Oliver's injured. Um, would replace him. I think there's better options than McRae. I think Zach Merritt is better. Whitfield, I prefer Cripps and Parker, but I see a lot of potential in Whitfield. But I think Cripps and Parker are a safer bet. Cruiser, no, overpriced. I like Jeremy Cameron. Mundy's too old. I think he's like 32, 33. That's too old. That's borderline falling off the cliff. So, I don't mind this team. I like the structure. The structure is fantastic. But yeah, I think it's a good team. Okay, we have Baron Von Crow. Um, way overspent. He's overspent, definitely. I have a bit of a cold at the moment, so my nose is a little blocked. But, um, yeah, he's overspent. These rookies aren't doing anything, but he can change that. 
Uh, yeah, this is fine. I don't get Shui at all. I don't get it. We have Crips and oh yes, yeah, Crips. He has a good buy, and he was terrible in JLT too. I think Shui's capped at his best ever season. Will, ever, will only ever be one hundred five in my opinion, and I think we want more. So no to Shui. Canelio, I like Canelio. Giants have a nice early draw and a dominant midfield. And he's a really important part of that midfield. And he, he won't get tagged. They'll go to Kelly or Shill. So, I like Cornelio. I think it's a good pick. I love Tom Mitchell. He's he's barely moved from my team all year. Sam Jacobs. Uh, history says yes, but my gut says no. So... I I think you can do worse than Sam Jacobs. I don't like Heaney. He didn't look very good in the JLT. I think he might be carrying something. That's just a guess by the way he played. First JLT, he was awful. Second JLT, he only had five contested possessions, which is quite low for him. So I'm not interested in Heaney at all. Uh, it, could back, it could backfire because he has huge potential, but I'm just saying something might not be right. I don't mind Billings, uh, but not for me. I don't know, just my gut says no. He's a terrible kick of the footy, and I don't think St Kilda are in for a, an amazing year just yet. I don't, I think he, Billings could be one of the ones, like the one I miss, so. Um, I don't mind Billings. Toby Green's underdone. He's an absolute no for me, and he's going to get suspended twice. I don't mind this team. I don't like don't like Heaney much. I like the structure though, except for this. I think this is too much. All right, we have Kev. Yeah, this is good. I like this a lot. Ryan's a bit of a risk. I don't know. I think he's a bit too unproven. He's a really nice kick of the ball, and um. I guess if you're going to go for a 420k defender, it'd either be out of Vlosten and Ryan. I would prefer Vlosten. Oh, I've crashed again. But... Oh, goodness. Yeah, I wouldn't... I'm not interested in Ryan. But I think it's a great idea. He's not spending much in defence. I, I like it a lot. Uh, Oliver's injured, but he might have not known this when he posted it. Yeah, I think this is good. Dangerfield in there. We'll see how that goes, but he could be worth holding, but I don't think he is. Nankervis, that's that's fine. Tabana, oh my goodness. I don't know what to think of Tabana. No, I don't think he's worth the money. I think he's very capable of scoring 120. Just as capable, just as he is capable of scoring thirty. So, not for me. I think he'll do better this year, though. So, I understand the F five problem we have this year, but I don't think I'd rather him put Sicily there and put Bonner there or something. So, so yeah, I don't mind it. Some good ideas in here. Oh yeah, Walters. I like Walters a lot. Very good JLT, very strong end to last year. So, maybe a little bit injury prone, but maybe a little. Last few years he's been okay and on the injury front. Okay, we have Post Malone. I don't like Post Malone much. Uh, I like his music. Don't think his voice is very good. I get sick of it really quick. Again, way overs in defense, not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I'd cut two. I'd cut Hibbert and Hurley for something, for like a cheaper something and a Bonner or a Norton or something. Uh, very looks pretty weak. Duncan, I don't mind Duncan actually. I think there are safer bets than Duncan and with better buys. So that's why I wouldn't pick Duncan. Uh, let me just reset this. 
Okay. Kelly. I didn't see much of Kelly. I love Kelly as a pick. I think he's a lock. He could win a brown low within the next two years, I think. Maybe not all Dangerfield's fully fit, but... Um, yeah, Kelly, he's really good. Very good JLT, very good preseason, very strong last year. Uh, super talent. I don't hate Armitage at all. I think he's okay. Um, but uh, 300 is a really weird price range, and I'd rather pay a bit extra for Cornelio. I think there's risk attached with Armitage because he's he hasn't played healthy for two years, really. So... I would avoid Armitage. But if it fits your structure, I don't see... I think you can do worse. Jago Mira. So... Oh, Lysette. Lysette hasn't played for pretty much all last year, which makes makes me just... I've put a line through him because of that. If he had played a lot last year, and maybe he like didn't get games because of Vardy and Nick Nat were playing all season... Then yeah, but because he's missed the whole season, it's a no from me. Monday's too old. Polk is nowhere near playing. Um, I just fix that five. I don't like Monday and Heaney. That's just me though. And finally we have Damo. Yeah, this is good. He can change O'Shea and these guys. Um, still think there's too much money tied up in D1 and 2. Okay, this is good and bad. It's good because I can see these could, this could easily be the top, one, two, three, four. this could be six of the top eight midfielders, which would be a great result, but I think he's picked no value picks, which means... People that do have value picks uh, will do better, will make up more ground than this guy because he's spending a lot of money and other lines will suffer. So, yeah, I think this is okay. I think Dangerfoot could, could easily become Cornelio and then um, that could kind of help you justify spending this much. But it all depends on how you feel about Dangerfield. Rock Snake Kervis is okay. Does a lot around the ground. I think this is good, except for Tabana. I don't get the Tabana pick at all. Uh, that's an okay team. I don't, don't mind it. And now Herald Sun teams. Of course, it's not working. Oh, Herald Sun experts, and then they have Brendan Favola. Interesting. Um, our pattern. What a name, our pattern. Must be like a mafia or something. Um, uh, I wish they had pictures. Hurley, not good. Let's see if I can see any interesting picks. That's fine. I'd add another midfielder. Not much to say here. Pretty standard. Don't know why it crashes. Uh, Sam Groth, what tennis tennis player? I think. Um, I don't like Hurley. I could be wrong on Hurley, but I'm just hurt his hand in the preseason, injury prone. Apparently, he has wrist tendonitis or something, which is manageable, but it's frustrating. I like Bonner. I like Savage. That's very light. Four premiums. I don't mind Josh Kennedy, but four premiums. Mm. Where's all his money gone? Oh, look how much he's spent here. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, I have a picture here. Yeah, that's too much, and he's going to get screwed in the buys. So... Uh, some okay things, some not so good things. Gilbert Gardner. Sounds like a neighbour. Like if you have a neighbour, his name's probably Gilbert Gardner. Um, 
Laird, so yeah, this is good. I love it. I love it. Cummings is not playing. Needs like a someone else. Um. Yeah, this is excellent. Love it. Pretty much the same as mine, except I have Matt Crouch over Martin. Yeah, it's good. Uh, might need to fix his rookies, but you can do that. Goldstein, I like Goldstein. I'm just worried. I don't know. I don't trust Brad Scott. He might be good. He might dominate the first eight rounds. Then Proust comes in, and then... I mean, they just signed up Proust for a while, so they're committed to Proust. So they have to... Surely they have to play him a little bit. And given... Like, Goldstein's not a part of the next premiership. I don't think Brad Scott's a very good coach, to be honest. It doesn't make any sense to persist with Goldstein when you're not winning a, a flag with him. Uh, I don't know. It'd suck. It would suck to be a North supporter, to be honest. Um, I think this is fine. I don't like Christensen, but F5 is a special case this year. So, don't mind it. Scott Gullen. Um, Brendan Ellis is a terrible pick. He had an awful final series last year. Like, awful. Like, his worst three games of the season were the three finals he played in. And he had an awful JLT series. That is a red flag. I wouldn't go near him. Zach Tui, bad buy. His scoring doesn't really convert very well. Like, his disposals to super coach ratio isn't good for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I don't mind it. I... If you want to spend 500k on a defender, it should probably be McGovern, I think. Uh, I don't like Bontempelli. He spends too much time forward and... I don't know, champion data, just love him. He's not the worst pick. I think he could he could work out, but not for me. He has a nice buy, though, which is good. Mason Cox, oh god. Big no. Hell no. Franklin and Heaney, that's too expensive, I think, on two forwards. I'd drop one. Not interested in Heaney. Franklin has a really nice draw from about round six. So I reckon in round six to round eight, you want to get Franklin in around that around that time. One thing with Darcy Fogarty, I did a bit more research. So last, he, I think he came back from injury. But he averaged 41 ranking points in the SNFL. 12 or 13 disposals. Not good. That's not good at all. Um, huge talent, but not ready yet. Simple as that. He can't play midfield yet. He doesn't have a doesn't have a tank yet. Um, he has the body, but I don't think he can put in repeat efforts. And Rainer is going to play deep forward. He scored poorly in JLT one, but JLT two he scored well because he had ten tackles. Ten tackles means that he doesn't know how to get the footy at this level yet. So, no Rainer. Rodney Ede. Interesting. Um, surprised he can turn a computer on. So, Daniel Rich. Uh, mm, no. Big no from me. Could work out, but... You know, he's last... Since he's been in the AFL... He's been a bit uh, unreliable as a super coach pick. Howard on the bench. He must be expensive. I don't know why he's on the bench. Um, Amira, big no no. No Brayshaw. That's okay. I don't mind that. Um, Dawson Simpson sucks. Don't pick him. I think it's an okay team. I don't like Dalhouse. I'm worried he'll play deep forward, but I could be wrong. Robbo. I can just see him picking his team with like a smoker in his mouth. Like texting people. Like start like on Big Footy. He's like finding a rumour that he can post in an article. As he does his super coach team. So Tui. Yeah, I know, this is good because he hasn't spent much. But Andy McGrath. Is not good, I don't think. He's not ready yet. He didn't finish a full preseason. He said he did like 90% of a preseason. You can't even finish one full AFL preseason, then you're not going to make my team. Um, and 
And then we have... Oh, we're right, wrong way. Heath Shaw is a trap. Don't pick him. And... Yeah, Cox is not good. I don't like Heaney. Don't mind Dower House, but too much risk. Bell? Oh, this is interesting. I think that's a big waste of money. He's to your missus. Interesting. John Ralph, too much money in R1 and 2, but if, if you've got to spend that much, let inhibit other ones to go to. I'd prefer Bonner to this guy. Um, Amira, bad pick. It's not too bad from John Ralph. Oh, Pow Pepper, please no. Hell no. He's 350k. You might as well spend an extra 100 for Canelio. What is his name? Dick Conning. Uh, Hogan? Eh. Oh, not for me. Darcy Moore? No way. Is he playing key defender this year? I don't know. I don't know who Gregson is. Chris Kavner? No idea. Sounds like a Hollywood actor. Not much here. No one's... Oh, finally Matt Crouch. There we go. I like that. He, he needs Tom Mitchell, though. Matt Kennedy, waste some money. Um, too light in the forward line. Sam Edmund. Uh, overspent. Four premiums is too light. Why would you pick right over the buy? Honestly, makes no sense. Uh, Cramery? Is he even going to play? Interesting that he's gone. Obviously, you put Bailey, Fritch on the um, on the bench. Toby Green's a waste of money. I don't mind Petrarca. I'm a bit. I'm picking Petrarca, but I'm a little bit worried. He, if there's any last minute changes, it'll be him. So yeah, that's my team. So I've just been talking smack about all the other teams. So I have to back it up, I guess. So no one's picked Roughhead. I like him a lot. He had some problems last year and he's over them. And obviously I've gone probably one too deep in the midfield, but I have faith in this defense. See if Cole pulls up. Teams are going to be announced in two hours, so should be interesting. Um, yeah, good luck for this year. I'll make another league. Um, I'll just put that in the description. If you don't have a league, you can join that. If it doesn't fill up, probably it should fill up, but I'll just put, we can play against Mark Robinson and all that. Anyway, good luck, and I'll do a video at the end of the, at the, end of the round.